the Democratic Republic of Congo, the second largest country in Africa, is a country which is eager to control its own destiny. Our journey takes us to Kivu on the borders of Rwanda and Burundi and on the shores of the lake which bears the same name. It's hard to believe that many people were massacred in this idyllic and gently beautiful landscape. The province has been greatly affected by a series of wars and the laws of the strongest and most violent still hold sway, but Kivu is developing. We are in Bukavu, the capital of the province of South Kivu. Here is in the north, a large number of humanitarian emergencies have had to be dealt with first. But these days, the future seems to be in the areas surrounding the town, in the agricultural sector. In the fabulous earth of the Great Lakes region grows some of the best coffee in the world. It's an Arabica coffee originally planted by settlers, then gradually abandoned during the various troubles. The cooperative Rayek has been assisting its members since 1992. For a few years now, it's been opening up the way to the fair trading of coffee. Rayek represents over 2,000 households, a significant proportion of the area's residents. Les gens attendent maintenant qu'on produise un café lavé, qu'on appelle dans le jargon le café fully washed, qui peut nous permettre d'avoir accès à un prix rémunérateur sur le marché international. Parce que le café ordinaire produit et transformé localement dans les familles n'est pas de bonne qualité et il est vendu sur place à un prix qui ne permet pas aux paysans de, de relever son niveau social. The Trade for Development Centre, a Belgian development agency programme which supports fair and sustainable trade, together with the Belgian NGO Oxfam Solidarité, provides support to the coffee growing industry right from the beginning of the process, such as here at the nursery. Trained agronomists help the farmers to re-establish their old colonial plantations using new, top quality seedlings. Farmers come to the nursery for supplies and sometimes even receive a short lesson in agronomics. Et là, je lui disais que avant de, de planter, de placer cette nouvelle plantille, il faudra qu'il arrive à couper les feux ici, qui sont déjà en cours de fanaison, et cela pourra permettre à la plante de relancer ses activités métaboliques une fois plantée dans son champ. Several times a year, the Rayek producers meet up to move things forward. Their objective, fair trade certification. Not far from Bukavu, we head towards the village of Muhungu, where we have an appointment at the Mbusele's small farm. The Mbusele have four children and are the second generation of farmers. They live frugally and invest a lot of hope in coffee, despite the incessant swindling. The rest of the community is also pinning great hopes on coffee, especially the women for whom life thus far has not been very easy. Today they're singing in honor of Raik and of this chance to belong to it. Most of these women are widows, another tragedy. Their husbands went missing during illegal crossings of Lake Kivu to Rwanda, where coffee trafficking is much more lucrative. But small engineless boats often can't stand up to this stormy little landlocked sea, which, what is worse, they cross at night. Jeanne is one of these women. Since her husband disappeared in 2001, she has had to take care of her eight children by herself. The Rai Coffee Cooperative is the only help she can cling to. The problem of having the money was always en trafiquant aller au Rwanda. Si celui-là qui ne trafique pas, il est, il est toujours reculé. Parce qu'en cultivant des haricots, vous ne pouvez pas avoir de l'argent, au moins du café, tout simplement. Nous voulons cultiver des cafés. Et on nous a donné des plantes. Nous a, les semaines passées, on déjà sémé. Mais... 
le moyen de, de faire scolariser les enfants pour qu'après 3-4 ans, les cafés seront à maturité. Je ne sais pas comment on va, on va vivre. Au bord de Salak, il y a trois coopératives de café, Raïk, Sopik, Dikopak, qui ont ensemble créé une, une dynamique positive ici dans la région par la commercialisation du café. Et on, ils ont montré en fait que le commerce peut contribuer vraiment au développement des petits producteurs, même ici, donc euh, au sud Kivu, en RDC, qui est une zone de conflit. Et donc c'est la, la décision en fait ou la raison pourquoi le Trade Development Center de l'Agence Belge de Développement a décidé d'appuyer ces trois coopératives ici. Moving on from Rayek, let's carry on across the lake towards the north of the province and the town of Minova, a much less safe area where the second cooperative works. Sopakdi, supported by Oxfam Weroldwinkels. Sopakdi is much more advanced. The 5,200 producers who belong to it can entrust it with their coffee beans for every step of the production, right up to the important stage of drying. To improve the quality of this Kivu coffee, Sopak D has built a washing station, rare in this area. La station de lavage permet à ce que nous ayons un café de haute gamme et qui est préférable sur le marché international. Il y a tout un processus pour y arriver, ce n'est pas de la blague. Il faut avoir euh, de l'eau de la source. Parce que généralement, on utilise l'eau de, 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 de lac, mais Le lait de lac est prohibé pour la préparation du café de spécialité parce qu'il y a du sel dans, dans cette eau-là. Il faut nécessairement qu'il y ait l'eau de la rivière, l'eau de la source. Il faut une propriété adéquate dans la station de lavage. Sopak D offers producers something which they wouldn't be able to get on their own, a dual organic and fair trade certification. La certification constitue la base de la coopérative. Parce qu'avec la certification, on a le marché. Parce que beaucoup de marchés de, de café de la, haute, de, de, de la haute gamme exigent la certification. And in order to ensure these certifications, a certain procedure must be adhered to in coffee processing. For example, the coffee cherries or beans must be brought for pulping within 10 hours of harvesting. Hence, why they're so lucky to have a washing station capable of processing almost three tons an hour just near their plantations. On Kivu's mountain roads, on the way to the member villages of the Sopagdi Cooperative, it's easy to understand the emotions aroused by this earthly paradise, which was so moving for many settlers some 200 years ago. We are in Kalungu and it's milling day. The women are crowding in to have their manioc ground. It's thanks to the premium generated by selling fair trade coffee that the mill was built. Here the women have taken control, or almost. Now they're pulling together and making themselves heard. Nous vivions miserablement. Par exemple, grâce à la sopacri, grâce au comité, on nous a appris Combien les femmes ont été... Bon, on a appliqué le système de droits des femmes dans ce pacte. Grâce aux formations, on était comme ça, l'État congolais, vraiment, ça ne donnait rien. Mais grâce à notre pacte, à notre cher pacte, on nous a appris et on applique, on élève toujours les femmes. En se regroupant, on a une petite somme. Vous voyez combien les moulins nous fournit de l'argent et des motos aussi. Et le moteur qui se trouve à Tchèya. On vivait misérablement, vraiment. Grâce aux primes, vous nous avez aidés. Sopak D supports four schools. 14 teachers teach French, English, maths and science to more than 380 children there. But they also teach citizenship. On the blackboard today, a lesson on feminism, unthinkable until very recently. Yes, yes, yes.
We're crossing Goma, which all too often makes the headlines worldwide due to the 20 or so small rebel groups which endanger the lives of more than 400,000 inhabitants. Just outside Goma is the Rwandan border crossing and the town of Gisenyi on the northern shores of Lake Kivu. We're changing context completely. Rwanda, the country of a thousand hills, is the new African El Dorado and investors are flocking here. COPAC works with 8,800 producers and is the most advanced of the three coffee processing organizations. Support from the Trade for Development Center has helped it to enter the organic market. Today, the organization is autonomous and even provides advice to the Congolese Sopakdi. Sopakdi au Congo, c'est notre partenaire, comme moi-même, je viens du Congo. Vu les retombées positives que nous avions eues au Rwanda avec l'équitable, avec le bio, j'ai amené la même expérience chez Sopakdi. At Copac, we discovered cupping, the final phase of a superbly made Arabica. Just as the best wine experts taste fine wines, cupping allows you to discover the rarest coffees. En faisant ça, on trouve des cafés exceptionnels et on trouve aussi des cafés qui ont des défauts, comme vous avez remarqué, une tasse là pour le numéro 6 qui avait le goût de pommes de terre. Ça, ça nous permet de savoir où est-ce que nous vendons. Specioz is a doting mother. The Arabica that she grows for Copac has significantly improved her standard of living. Très important pour nous et pour le pays. Over these last few years, the people of Kivu have become really aware of their land. There's still a lot of political instability, but by providing an excellent quality coffee sold in fair trade shops, the Kivu producers are at last taking control of their own destiny.